Hello and welcome to my Monday night live stream. Tonight we're going to return to talk a little bit about chat GPT. There have been some updates for the chat GPT plus subscribers that I have utilized and found that they saved me a lot of time and effort. So I wanted to share that with you today. And afterwards, we can have a discussion about the value of this addition they have. So let's move over to my chat GPT. And if you have been here before in chat GPT, you know that you can see that it has changed a bit the layout of it. So we used to have up here, you could choose between chat GPT 4 and chat GPT 3.5. That has now moved over here on the side. You can still choose between the two. But what we're going to talk about tonight is the function of ChatGPT4. If you didn't know, it's the subscription version. It costs $20 a month. And they have changed a few things. For example, today they have integrated DAL-E, Chat, the regular ChatGPT4, and searching the web right in this setup, the chat GPT-4, so you don't have to switch between. If we look here to the left, as you can see, I'm hiding part of it. That's my old searches and queries and my personal settings. But over here, we have the regular chat GPT. And then if you haven't tried this before, you have the Explore. And that's where we're going to go. You can now create your own GPT. If you have used ChatGPT for some things that you often do the same way, you can now create your own ChatGPT, your own GPT for that specific task. And when we go in under Explore, you see I have my GPTs here. I have created three so far, one for each of my YouTube channels and one that where I just played around. If you scroll down underneath here, you have the OpenAI's GPT they have created. First, we have DAL-E if you just want to create images. We have one for data analytics analysis if you want to drop a file and help with visualizing and analyzing that and we have the chat gpt classic with no additional just the chat gpt itself then they have created some other gpts here game time explain board games the negotiator creative writing core coach and so forth i'm gonna show you the one i have created for my channel first so let's go in and click on pixel pia video assistant that's what i called it this i have created because i do repeatedly the same thing over and over i do research i do i have a specific outline for my preparation for a video. And I have a specific setup for my script. I never script it word by word, but I have a layout. So what I have set up here, let's say that my next video will be about chat GPT. That's all I write. And now my video assistant here starts to work. And it says, great choice. ChatGPT is trending and is a trending and fascinating topic. Let's brainstorm three potential video titles for your video about ChatGPT. And then it gives me three examples here. And 
let's see let's say that i'm most interested in number two so i say like two now i have set up so the next step is that it's gonna write a outline according to the document i have uploaded on how i want the outline for my videos to look so here we have introduction one to two minutes start with relatable scenario highlighting the ubiquity of ai in communication and so forth then what is chat gpt revolutionizing communication and it has little dots here little points i should talk about technical insight ethical considerations future prospects a conclusion and an optional interactive element and then it asks me would you like to proceed with script writing for this outline or should we start designing a thumbnail for the video so let's see what ideas it has for a thumbnail so i write thumbnail please and now it moves over to use dal e to create an image according to the document i have uploaded and the directions i have given it for some reason it's always a little slow when it creating the thumbnail but that's okay here we have something well maybe not what i wanted so i can can you simplify and no text if it fits your vision you can proceed to use it for your video would you like to move on to the seo keyword compilation for this video or need any further assistance with the thumbnail and let's see what it does when i ask it to thumbnail and simplify and all this i will soon show you how you can do something yourself like this for your need and I will also show you what documents I have supplied for this to work with my channel. Okay, here we have the simplified version. Now, it asks me again if I would to see compiling SEO keywords for this video. No, I want you to do some basic research and write a possible description and i also have some information in the document i supplied chat gpt with, with how i want this to work with writing descriptions and things like that so now it's searching the documents i have provided and it's searching online so let's see what it comes up with and you can also see here as it working what website it is looking for or looking at i should say not looking for it found a lot of websites about chat gpt obviously okay let's skip this and go and look at another one i did just for fun the culinary companion this i just played around with and this is say that we have i have the basic ingredient and i don't know what i want to do so i just write i have chicken and carrots that's all i'm telling this gpt Welcome, what's your main ingredient for today? Chicken and carrots, great choice. Let's find a delicious recipe for you. First, could you tell me your preferred level of difficulty? Are you looking for something easy, medium or challenging? And that is the reason it asks this is that I told it all these questions I wanted it to use while using the gpt so i say easy so now it's start to look around hi dj an easy recipe next question how much time do you have for cooking or here perfect you will go with an easy next time and here 
it showed me two responses. And that is something that shows up in chat GPT now and then for a way for them to improve. So let's say that I like this response more. So I want a quick recipe. Understood, a quick and easy recipe with chicken and carrots. Now how many serving do you need? I need four servings. And there is one more question it should ask me. Do you have any dietary restrictions? No nuts. And now it goes out and browse the web to see if it can find something that fits with the answers I gave it. It's searching for quick and easy chicken and carrot recipes for fur for four persons. So let's see what happens here, what it comes up with. And after this, I will show you exactly how you can create your own GPT to use, no matter what field you need to use it for. Oh, I forgot. And four servings, no nuts. And I hope it will have an answer for me soon here. DJ. Can you come up with something that you could use your own GPT for? A topic that you would be interested in having a dialogue since we are going to create a new one in a couple of seconds here, I hope. So we have something to work with. Maybe you have an idea. Okay, here we have sheet pan chicken breast with potatoes and carrots. One pan roasted chicken with carrots. And as you can see here, they have the links to where it found these recipes. Creamy chicken and carrots in a slow cooker. Okay. I like one. I don't, I didn't read through them, oh, but I just picked one. And now you see it writes down the ingredients the steps, how to make it. And there we have our new, our recipe found by what I called culinary companion. So let's go back. You said random. Why do people like King of the Hill? Okay, let's create a GPT that can answer everything about King of the Hill. Oops, I didn't tell you. So under explore here, the first one is create a GPT. So that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, we have two sides. We have the create and we have a preview. So first GPT builder say, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products, make a software engineer who help format my code. What would you like to make? I would like to make a GPT that knows everything there is to know about King of the Hill. So now it's updating this GPT that we are creating. Oh, you can wait, let me take off that little overlay I have here to hide my part. There we go. How about we name this Arlen Analyst. This reflects its expertise in King of the Hill, which is set in the fictional town Arlen, Texas. Do you like this name? Yes. Now it's generating a profile picture for this specific GPT. King of the Hill, Arlen Analyst. Okay, yes, yes, say yes in this time. I will show you how I can go in and change things here in a second. Okay, now I'm waiting for it to generate the picture. And here we have the test site where we can see it has already created four initial questions. Tell me about Hank Hill's character. 
explain the cultural impact of King of the Hill. Where, what are some memorable episodes of King of the Hill and describe? Oh, I didn't read the question. Would you like me to change it? And I said, yes. <laughs> and it changed it. Okay. And the fourth question is describe the relationship between Bobby and Hank. Like it. Great. Now let's refine the GPT's expertise a bit. Bit. What specific aspects of King of the Hill should it focus on? For example, should it have in-depth knowledge of trivia, behind the scenes, information, character analytic, or thematic discussions? All of the above. So we are creating a really fantastic King of the Hill specialist here and we will soon start trying it out with the focus areas confirmed we should consider how Arlen analyst will interact with users how should it handle situation where it needs more information to answer a question and how would you like it to express its personality I want it to to ask for more specification and the tone should be playful and friendly so you see as you're building this gpt you do it just the way you normally talk to chat gpt by just using normal language and the way you speak normally so now it's updating again here. So let's see what its next question will be if it needs anything more. Perfect. The GPT will be both informative and engaging. How Now, why don't you take Arlen Analyst for a spin in the playground? You can ask it anything about King of the Hill to see how it performs. Okay. And... Your initial question here, DJ, was why do people like King of the Hill? So let's ask it just that. Why do people like King of the Hill? And let's see what the answer is. It's relatable characters and situations. It's a sudden humor. It has cultural commentary, the character development, a balanced tone, unique animation style, and the nostalgia factor. In sum, King of the Hill stands out for its realistic portrayal of everyday life, its unique brand of humor, and its insightful taken on American culture. It's a show that doesn't just aim for laughs. It creates a world and characters that viewers genuinely care about. When was it first shown? Let's see how much fact we have here. King of the Hill first premiered on January 12, 1997. The show was created by Mike Judge and Greg Daniels and quickly established itself as a popular and critically acclaimed animated series known for its unique blend of humor and insightful commentary on everyday american life i guess dj you are more of an expert on king of the hill than i am so you tell me did this gpt do what we wanted it to do why do people not like it while King of the Hill has a strong fan base, like any show, it's not without its critics. Some reasons why certain viewers might not be as fond of the show include subdued humor, focus on everyday life, cultural specific, specificity, character dynamics, animation style, pacing and storytelling, and changing quality over time. I think we have created a 
It did in great detail, DJ say. So I think we have created a know it all about now. I want to show you under configure here. Here we can go in, we can change the avatar. It missed, let me see, what did we say that it would be named? It missed to do that. So let's copy this, Arlen Analyst, and put that in there. Expert on all things King of the Hill, providing detailed and accurate show information. And then it has a little instruction here. And here we have the four first questions that will pop up if you use this GPT. In Knowledge Share, if I had a PDF that contained all kinds of information about King of the Hill, I could upload it here. I don't have that, so we're not going to do that. It's using web browsing and DAL E image generation. So I think I can be pretty happy with this just one thing left to do and that is save and i can say to only me these plugins will only work within chat gpt for plus subscribers i can also share it for only people with a link and that way I have a link to share with other people if we work together and use something like this. I can always go in and change this later. In this case, I'm going to save it to only me. Not that I need a GPT about King of the Hill. If I go in here to my GPTs, and let me put this up again. You see, now we have an analyst here. If I want to go in and edit it, I can do so here. Welcome back. Is there anything Arlen analyst should be doing better if I find something that doesn't work right? Or if I want to add on to it? Here is also where I can delete a GPT if I no longer need it. So I just click it. So now I said with my video as I didn't want to click on it. I wanted to go in and edit the video assistant I have created. So let's go into configure here. And it's assist with automating video creation for Pixel Pia, focusing on AI and technology. And here we have the description. Pixel Pia video assistant will guide the video creation process attentively. It starts with a brainstorming session to select potential topics. After deciding on the topic, it presents three video titles. The chosen titles is then expanded into detailed outline. The assistant will inquire whether to proceed with script writing or to start designing thumbnails. For th thumbnails, it was specifically mentioned that the style needs to be photorealistic and the aspect ratio should be 16 by 9 when requesting DALI to generate images. Finally, the GPT will compile a list of SEO keywords, ensuring they are provided in comma-separated format, ready for use. And here we have, I have uploaded my own avatar here. I have uploaded a document where I have the full description of my channel with everything from colors to this um, basic outline of an episode, who my target audience is, a lot of things in that file that my GPT use when I as background information when I use it. Plus everything it knows about good practice for SEO, for creating YouTube videos that it can find online. And as I said, this has saved me so much time in planning for upcoming videos. 
I still have a lot of work to do because I just get an outline. But let me show you once again. Do something very easy this time. Have no ideas. I go in and tell it, I have no ideas. I don't know what I want to do. And now it should give me some topic ideas that should help me based on the description in my uh, in the document I have uploaded. AI and mental health, and it gives me a little information about what I can talk about. The evolution of AI in entertainment beyond just movies. AI in environmental protection. Okay, let's say number two, beyond movies. So I just put a two in there. Great choice. The topic of AI's role in transforming the entertainment industry is both fascinating and highly relevant. And then it gives me three titles. These titles will probably change as I work further on, but it gives me an idea beyond the screen how AI is reshaping entertainment. And then it says, this title suggests a comprehensive look at the various ways AI is influencing the entertainment sector, indicating a broad and engaging exploration of the subject. And then AI's role in game, gaming and VR, virtual reality. And the invisible director, AI in film and media productions. So let's say that I am... I think I want to do something about gaming and VR. So I just put number two again. And at this stage, it will give me an outline with short snippets of information on what I should research more and find information about in these different sections. So we have the introduction. Start with an engaging hook. Describe a futuristic gaming or VR scenario that actually possibly today thanks to AI. Briefly introduce the topic and then background information, real world applications and case studies. Impact on ethical considerations, personal insights and conclusions and interactive elements a very basic outline for what i should include and then again it's asked me if i want to go on with script writing or start designing the thumbnail and so forth this is where i will end this part of my live stream